Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. If you saw our last video, you know that I shaved my beard. And so I figured what a great time to continue a string of absolutely absurd challenges by doing the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Now, if you're not familiar with this challenge, it has been all over the internet. This is one single tortilla chip that is made from ghost peppers and Carolina Reaper peppers. I am not looking forward to this one bit. Now you guys have to know that I uh, enjoy some spicy food, but I'm more of a medium, medium hot kind of guy. I almost never go for like extreme wings or anything like that. So this is going to be a challenge for me. And you'll see the chip is delivered in a box that looks like a coffin. That is reassuring to me, I'll tell you that. And let me tell you what it says inside. It says the chip in this box is made with the hottest chili pepper on the planet, the Carolina Reaper, created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Subjects can expect short-term loss of speech, followed by extreme profanity, heavy breathing, enhanced sinus functions, and impaired vision from heat-induced tears. That sounds like a blast. So I have here a few items that might help me if needed. I have a cup of milk. It's the biggest cup I could find in our house. I have a cup of water, um, a cup that I could get sick in if it comes to that. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Some paper towels, a wet face cloth to like dab my face and wipe my hands off with. And now in this container is the chip. Here we go. So we're opening this. I'm gonna first give it a smell. It. It smells hot. Uh, it's like a Dorito from hell. It's like Satan's Doritos. That's what they should have called these. Oh no. This is the tortilla chip. Here we go, guys. The Pocky One Chip Challenge. Sweet Jesus, please be with me. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna give you the flavor real quick. It actually has good taste. Oh no. At first you're like, oh this isn't that... At first you're like, this isn't that bad. I don't wanna swallow it. I feel like swallowing it is a horrible idea, but... Okay, I swallowed it. Oh, that was a terrible idea. <coughs> it's one tortilla chip. Why is that so hot? Why is that so hot? <coughs> <laughs> My wife is laughing at me. Mine never matter. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to breathe. I'm not going to breathe. I have to get milk. Oh, if I had a cow here, I would just, right on the udder. Oh, it's so hot. It's the hottest thing I've ever had in my life. Hands down. Oh. Oh, here come the tears. It's, it's, it's still getting hotter. It's still, how is it getting hotter? How is it getting hotter? My wife is reminding me not to touch my face. Not a reminder I need, there's no way I would. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. I'm having my wife go get me more milk. But there's probably a time when like milk is just bad, right? Did you bring me some bread too? I cannot believe how hot this is. Like, how is this so hot? Oh my gosh, I'm like sweating all over my eyes. I'm not sweating all over my eyes. Well, I guess I am that too. I'm just sweating all over and my eyes. I have had almost 24 ounces of milk. At this point, it's now the gallon milk challenge as well, almost. Here comes my wife. 
with more milk. Some ice. And some ice cubes and some bread. Now the sinuses are starting to drain. I have to text my friend Colin. He wants to do this challenge. I have to tell him don't do it. No, I want to see him do it. I'm gonna tell him to do it. <laughs> Colin, comma, I'm doing the challenge, comma. Absolute horror, period. Mouth on fire. Send. Oh God. Does bread help? I think I heard somewhere bread helps. It's not helping. Bread's not helping. Colin texted back. <laughs> I'm so proud, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Colin, thank you for watching my video. <laughs> I wanna bury myself in a glacier and not come out for a thousand years. It's really weird because like, what, you almost think it's subsiding and then it just like comes up and just like punches you in the face and it's like, I'm back. <laughs> That's attractive. My face is just like draining right now. Gross. Sherry, do you still find me attractive? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, milk definitely better than water. And my lips are now starting to burn. It's weird because I didn't have a lot of burning on my lips at first. <sighs> yeah, you're not oh, dang it, I have been licking them. What a stupid idea on my part. We're probably not gonna make out tonight, Sherry. <laughs> Why well, didn't know that? Probably. Probably not going to. Paul just texted me that I need milk, ice cream, and bananas. I, <coughs> the burps are starting. <laughs> <laughs> the burps are here. Colin, I only have this much milk left in the whole house. We're out of milk. I don't have any bananas or ice cream. We have yogurt. Could you go get me some yogurt? <laughs> Why is a tortilla chip so hot? Who needs to make a tortilla chip that hot? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I haven't had any like loss of breath. I haven't had like, um, any blurred vision or anything like that. It's just really, really hot. I haven't had hiccups. I know some people get hiccups. It's just so hot. And I can feel the heat like going down. Like my, It is right now, right here. Like right here is where the chip is right now. I can feel that. It's not good. My wife is my savior. More ice and two things of yogurt. Oh boy. I think I should stop drinking milk. I so don't want to throw this up because I feel like that's just it coming back to a party that I don't want to invite it to again. The yogurt's still good, right? Yep. Thank goodness. The yogurt is a good call, I can tell already. Mmm. Yogurt is wonderful. I love yogurt now. Let me talk a little bit about the chip. One thing I haven't seen a lot of people talk about is the taste of the chip. Probably because you go from like putting it in your mouth to instant flaming death. It actually did not have a bad taste. One of the ingredients is chipotle and you can kind of taste that in there like it has like a pretty good taste it's just within a matter of seconds you just can't taste anything because the heat has taken over i'm not gonna sleep good tonight i'm just throw that out there i'm probably gonna sleep in the guest bedroom i almost touched my eyes oh holy lord <laughs> like there's a lot of things that are going on over here and none of them are like good if you're on a first date do not do the one chip challenge. You will not want each other at all. It opens up everything in your face, like your eyes and your sinuses, like everything just starts dripping. I feel like after almost 15 minutes of eating the chip, since I ate the chip, the pain is now subsiding to the point that it, like I'm gonna live, <laughs> like it's manageable. I will say the yogurt has helped more than anything I think because of the consistency, it's like thick and coaty. I ate the whole chip. I thought about, I don't know if you guys saw on the video, I, went, I put it in my mouth and I thought about just taking like half of the chip and then I was like, nope, you've got to do the whole challenge. And so I ate the whole chip. Oh, man, the burn just comes back though. Do you feel like half the chip would have made a difference? I actually don't think so. I think that, I think that it's the kind of thing that it's going to be really hot. You know what I mean? If it would have made a difference, it would have been, wouldn't have been that noticeable, I don't think. All right, guys, well, I have a moment of clarity. Uh, I ate the chip probably 18 minutes ago or so, starting to cool down for sure, but I wanted to kind of give you my wrap up, my thoughts about this. Remember, I'm not a guy who does really hot food. So to me, this was like super, super hot. This was by far the hottest thing I've ever eaten. Like I've eaten like a, a habanero pepper, uh, 
this was much hotter than that. I, I have to think this would be hot for anybody. Like if you're like a hot food challenge kind of person, maybe this isn't crazy. For me, this was pretty crazy. Um, I was kind of surprised that I didn't have any like hugely negative effects. Part of me really thought I was gonna get sick. Part of me really thought that I was gonna get like the hiccups or like start to lose my breath. None of that stuff ever happened. Um, the thing that helped me the most hands down was the yogurt. Uh, the yogurt and the milk, one and two. Uh, the water was the bottom. The ice provided momentary relief. The bread didn't do a darn thing. And it's really weird because like it feels like it's going away and then it just like comes back. I don't know what brings it back. So Pocky, I've gotta say, you guys have made one heck of a hot chip. Um, you made me sweat. You made me cry. You definitely cleared out my sinuses and you definitely provided me with the hottest thing I've ever tried in my life. But the most important thing, I survived and conquered the Pocky One Chip Challenge. And I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. Do you like hot food? Do you love hot food? Is this a challenge you have done or that you would do? Uh, I gotta say, having done it, I'm super glad I did because I've watched a lot of these videos on YouTube and I've always wondered, is it really that hot? Um, and I gotta say, over 20 minutes after I ate the chip and my mouth is still on fire, but, I can say I did it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join the Leg Life community. Give this video a thumbs up for me finishing the Pocky One Chip Challenge, and we will see you guys on Monday with the next Leg Life vlog. <laughs>